Despite a truly ludicrous title, John Torturo's Fading Gigolo is a surprisingly soulful and quiet comedy drama. The film is directed and written by the lead actor, John Torturo. The other main characters are Woody Allen, Vanessa Paradis, Sharon Stone, Sofia Vergara, Lee F. Schreiber, Tonya Pinkins and Embarker Ben Taleb. Although, John Torturo takes full credits as the author, Woody Allen's touch is visible throughout. With his fifth directorial effort, John Torturo offers a thoughtful Woody Allen-style comedy on the lengths to which lonely people go to fill the emotional holes in their lives. John Torturo plays Fioravante, a middle-aged gigolo, and Woody Allen plays Murray, his elderly manager, or rather his pimp. In other words, the world's oldest profession just got older. Sharon Stone, who plays Dr. Parker, a wealthy dermatologist, mentions to her patient Murray, that she, and a woman friend, Salima played by Sofia Vergara, wish to experience a manager trois, or a threesome. She asks Murray if he knows a willing man. Murray, whose used bookstore has just closed shop, and is without a job, convinces his friend and former employee Fioravante, to take up the job as they both are short of money. Soon, they build a thriving gigolo trade. However, the duo quickly finds themselves caught up in the crosscurrents of love and money. And this is what the whole movie is all about. While sexy Sharon Stone is the veteran vixen, Sofia Vergara oozes sex, and Vanessa Paradis brings in the romance. Having sex symbols, such as Stone and Vergara pay for making love, is a riot of an idea by itself. Gigolo is purely Woody Allen formula, which provides the right number of laughs to keep this sex comedy afloat. It is through the performance of Mousse Paradis, a well-known French singer, who dominates every scene she is in, while hiding under a wig, buttoned up to her neck and quoting from the Talmud, that you realize that this is a drama that pretends to be about sex, but is actually focused on revealing the true nature of intimacy and loneliness. A critic's review of Fading Gigolo. The music, as with the earthy set design, and the elegantly textural jewel-toned costuming, create a rich and sensual backdrop that make up for the somewhat improbable plot. If you can get beyond the implausibility of Sharon Stone paying John Torturo to join her and Sofia Vergara in a manage a trois, then there are lightweight pleasures to be had amid the wry, angsty middle-aged male fantasy. In other words, this movie gives hope to any wannabe graying alpha male. In addition to being pleasantly unique and special, the film has plenty of clever humor, underscored by graying sideburns, autumn leaves, and a wonderful jazz score. If you love jazz, then you've got to watch this movie, or you are missing something. When Rod Stewart's Do You Think I Am Sexy came up twice while watching Sharon Stone crossing and uncrossing her legs in a very short skirt, it did bring back old memories. You may think that for a movie about a sex worker, the movie could have been a bit hotter. Besides John Torturo, who wrote, directed, and acted in this film, may come across as too old and unattractive to ever be classified as a gigolo. But that was the beauty of the movie. Perhaps, it takes a writer, who knows human complexity to come up with such a story. Fading gigolo may be a bit far from perfect, but it is near impossible to dislike. Watch it. Guarantee that, you will enjoy it.